In this video, we're going to take a look at some basics of using JavaScript in Adobe Captivate. I'm Paul Wilson, and I just want to take a moment to appeal to you. I was looking at the analytics on my YouTube channel, and it turns out that over 80% of you are not subscribed to my channel, which kind of surprises me because my YouTube channel is primarily dedicated to Adobe Captivate and e-learning. And if you're someone who's interested in Adobe Captivate and e-learning, why not subscribe to my channel? Uh, it's absolutely free to do so. And to be honest with you, I would really appreciate it if you considered clicking that subscribe button. So today, prompted by some need from uh, one of my clients, I've decided to kind of cover the process that I'm currently going through of using JavaScript in Adobe Captivate 12. I'm not an expert, and I'll say that a couple of times during the video, uh, but I've used uh, ChatGPT quite successfully to generate the JavaScript I need. And this is a good example of that. It's a nice, simple, first JavaScript tutorial in Adobe Captivate. Let's get started. So to export a series of numbers from Adobe Captivate into JavaScript so that JavaScript can add them all together for you, you're going to need to create four Captivate variables. And when we return that total from JavaScript, we also need some place to store it as well. So in total, we actually need five different variables. I'm gonna create these first because it's a little bit easier when a whole bunch of temporary var variables haven't been already added to your project. So with just a blank project, with a blank slide here, I'm gonna go into the window dropdown menu and I'm gonna select variables. So there are three sort of default user variables. You can ignore these. They're related to connecting to and exchanging information with your LMS. But we're going to start by clicking on the create a variable plus icon here. And we're going to type in input field one. I'm just going to copy that. It's going to be a number. Its default value can remain zero. We don't need a description unless you're sharing this project with other Captivate developers and you want to provide a description so they understand why you've created this variable. So I'm going to go ahead and press create and we're going to create three more, almost identical, but with a different number at the end Two, create three, create and lastly, four create. So input field one, input field two, we have all those already configured. And there we go. The last variable, the fifth variable that we need is a calculated total. So I'm going to click plus and I'm going to type in calculated total, also a number, also a default value of zero. So we'll press create and that takes care of our variables. So if I click outside the variables window, that closes the variables window. And now I'm going to create four different input fields that we can allow our students to type those numbers in that we're going to add up for them. So we'll start by going to our add interactive components icon in the left hand toolbar, press that and we'll select input field. I'm going to duplicate this three more times, but we're going to do a little bit of modification here. So first one is more or less fine, but I'm going to go to alignment and spacing and turn on auto layout. And I'm going to set the bottom margin or padding, if you will, to 10 pixels. We'll select the second one. We'll also turn on auto layout. This helps with responsive design so that everything looks kind of the same. And we'll select a top and bottom padding of 10 pixels. We'll also turn off the label component. Select the third input field. Again, we'll choose auto layout. We'll choose 50 pixels, turn it into 10 and 10. And again, we'll turn off the label there. The last one here, again, we'll also do auto layout. 
Uh, I'm gonna set the top to be 10 pixels. We'll leave the 50 and I'm gonna turn off the label, but I'm gonna add a button and that's going to become our calculate button. And I can go ahead and double click on that and type in calculate. Finally, we need to display our results. So we're gonna click on the add text blocks icon and select a paragraph block here. I'm gonna select the title and replace that text with total and a colon. And we'll choose maybe a different, less obtrusive, that looks, that one's fine there. And because we're gonna display our calculated total, I'm gonna double click here. Now, if you wanna display a variable in Adobe Captivate 12, you start off by typing in dollar sign, dollar sign, and that brings up a list of all your variables that you can display here. So if we scroll down, we can find calculated total, and that will be displayed along the bottom there. We can also do some adjustments with our uh, padding of the block itself. So we'll turn on auto layout, and uh, maybe what we'll do is do 10 pixels at the top just to keep it tighter with this calculation here. Now our input fields are currently set up for text. So we're gonna want to change that to numbers. And then we're gonna change the variable associated with that to one of the ones that we've created. So input field one here, we'll select the second one change it to numbers, input field two, select the third one here, change it to numbers, and input field three. And the fourth one, again, change it to numbers, and input field four. Now, by no means am I a JavaScript expert by any means, but you can use something like ChatGPT to write the JavaScript for you. I have had very little success asking for a full script to be written in JavaScript based on what I want JavaScript to do for me. Where I've had more success is if I'm asking it a very specific but single action requirement for JavaScript to perform. So, this is what I'm gonna write here for the first part of my JavaScript. I would like a JavaScript solution to taking an Adobe Captivate, and I think it's important to type in like 12.6 or whatever version you're on, uh, taking an Adobe Captivate 12.6 variable called input field one and exporting it to a JavaScript, I'll try to write this properly, variable called, and I'm gonna use an underscore at the beginning of all of my JavaScript variables, just so you can see the difference clearly. And we'll call this more or less the same thing though. Input field one, press enter. You know, and it writes a lot of stuff out here. Um, obviously some details that might be helpful to you, but basically, this is the line of code that you need. So to just sort of explain what's happening here, VAR is you're declaring a variable. The variable in JavaScript is gonna be called underscore input field one. I'm using camel case here. Space equals space window dot CP, which is short for captivate API interface dot get variable value and then in parentheses and quotation marks input field one the captivate variable we've already declared so i literally can take this copy it and paste it into maybe notepad or if you want to use um, a scripting tool like visual basic code you can paste it in there and recreate it for the other three variables as well. Input field two, input field three, input field four. And now of course we wanna do the next step and that is to calculate the sum of 
underscore input field one and i'll cheat a little bit here input field two input field three and input field four and store the result in a javascript variable called underscore calculated total i want to have you write a java script line of code that will i'm just adding a little verbiage there so it's saying var underscore calculated total equals number input field one plus number input so pretty straightforward so we can copy that code and it's actually kind of anticipating my needs here it says do you want the result pushed back into a captivate variable example calculated total or just keep it uh, and i can say yes please i would like the result pushed back to captivate so it's suggesting that i use window dot cp again that's short for captivate this is sort of the javascript application programming interface uh it's redundant here api and then interface is written out with an extra i but that's okay dot set variable value calculated total and it's going to use the javascript calculated total there so i literally can copy this and paste it into notepad here to capture all of that stuff and i'm pretty happy with that so we can test it out by copying all that text let's minimize uh, chat gpt and go back here and using our calculate button we can click on the interactions icon under the more section of actions we'll just look for run javascript and we'll paste in our code here and click done. Let's preview this and see if it works as expected. All right, here we go. Let's type in um, 5, 10, 15, and 50 and press calculate. And uh, yeah, that's 80. That's correct here. And 10, 10, 10, 10. That should be 40. There you go. So while you may not need a simple calculator in Adobe Captivate, if you need to do any kind of addition, subtraction, you could even do multiplication, all sorts of things that Adobe Captivate doesn't really have a way for you to do, you can use JavaScript to take your values out to JavaScript and do that calculation and then bring it back. And of course, this is a nice small little first JavaScript lesson from someone who's literally not a JavaScript expert. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.